Hello everyone and welcome to Harvest World where we are taking a look at Forage Harvester Headers. Forage Harvester Headers, they each have a different job. We're going to find out what those jobs are. And this video is made by a special request from Kronig. He watched my video on Forage Harvester Trailers and wanted a little bit more information about Forage Harvesters and the headers that they use. So Kronig, this one's for you, buddy. Now I've got two Forage Harvesters here. I've got the Krone, I've got the New Holland. We're going to pretty much be sticking with the Crone because the headers on each of these do exactly the same thing. They're just different models of Forage Harvester. So, let's grab the Crone and get started. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is hook up to this trailer right here. And for those of you who might be wondering about Forage Harvester trailers, well, I do have a video about forage harvester trailers what you can do to hook up a trailer to a forage harvester and that's what prompted this video request from Kronig he was watching my trailer video and just wanted some more information so we're just gonna pull up over here to our headers and then we're gonna go into our shop menu take a look and we are going to forage harvester headers and right here in front of us the very first thing we see is the crone easy flow 300 s we'll start with that one and if we click on that we can see that this is intended for grass and hay so just two crops that we can affect with this particular header grass or hay and let's grab that thing there we go see if i can sneak right through here oh not quite close enough for government work we are gonna put our pipe out now the easy flow header this is intended to scoop grass or hay up off the ground I do have a few grass windrows right here and I will unfold the header fire it up and drop it down and start along my windrow at a nice quick 12 miles per hour so what you have effectively done is turned your forage harvester into a forage trailer a very expensive forage trailer i might add by the time you buy the forage harvester alone you probably could have bought at least three or four forage trailers so anyway that's what the easy flow does and you can see it's dumping grass straight into our trailer easy as pie so that is the easy flow header now I'm going to drop this trailer off just about right there and I'll get rid of the easy flow header like so and let's go grab a different header and find out what it's going to do for us so we're going to go back into our store menu one more time look at our forage harvester headers and the next thing that we see is the crone x disc 620 and the crone x disc 620 can be used on grass wheat barley oats canola or soybean so let's grab that header and i'm going to grab this other trailer that I've got set up here you can see some of the remnants of uh, running a few tests just to make sure everything was working as intended so I'll grab this uh, trailer and we're gonna head over to our wheat field I've got a wheat field that's partially grown and we will fire up this header and drop it down start up the wheat field and you can see it is effectively mowing down our wheat crop this is known as hole cropping and we're just taking a crop in the ground and turning it into chaff so that we can make silage out of it now like I pointed out earlier it does work on several crops um, and is very effective and you can do this at any stage of growth once you see plant life on the ground um, all the way up to a harvested state or a harvestable state you can collect this crop for silage and turn it into chaff 
we will take a look at our store menu one last time go back to our forage harvester headers scroll to the end and we have the crone x collect 900-3 and we can see this is specifically used just for corn we'll get back out of there we'll grab this header Unfold it. And I've got a partially grown corn crop. We'll fire that up, drop it down. And we are mowing down our corn and turning it into chaff for silage. Now a lot of people like to make silage with grass because grass is a little bit easier. You mow your grass, collect it, throw some fertilizer down, and wait for it to regrow. However, the big issue is that corn creates a great deal more chaff. So if you're looking for a lot of silage, corn is the ticket. So anyway, that's our look at forage harvester headers. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you have any requests for videos like this, feel free to leave them in the comments below. You're always welcome to join us on Discord. Uh, always happy to have more people in the chat. And until next time, you all take care.